Nigeria boasts of some of the world's most powerful and sophisticated missile systems, giving its military the ability to neutralize hardened targets, destroy armor threats, dismantle insurgent strongholds, engage hostile vessels, and intercept error intrusion with speed, precision, and devastating effect. In an era where modern warfare is defined by who sees first, strikes first, and strikes with precision, Nigeria's missile capabilities dramatically amplifies its combat power. Collectively, these systems elevate Nigeria into the ranks of militaries capable of modern, high-impact warfare reinforcing its status as a formidable power in Africa. In this video, we bring to you Nigeria's most powerful missile systems that is taking Africa by storm. First on the list is the AR-1 air-to-ground missile. The AR-1 missile is a Chinese precision-guided air-to-surface missile designed for use on attack drones such as the CH-3 and CH-4 UAVs, which Nigeria operates. It has a range of about 8 to 10 kilometers and uses laser guidance, making it effective against armored vehicles, insurgent hideouts, and fortified positions. Nigeria uses the AR-1 primarily for counter-insurgency operations, allowing the Nigerian Air Force to conduct precision strikes with minimal collateral damage, especially in the Northeast. At number 2 is the PL-9 air-to-air missile. The PL-9 is a short-range infrared-guided Chinese air-to-air -air missile, comparable to the M9 Sidewinder. It is designed for dogfighting and point defense, with a range of roughly 20 kilometers. Nigeria integrates the PL-9 on some of its Chinese-origin combat aircraft, giving the Nigerian Air Force basic air-to-air -air interception capabilities, mainly for airspace protection rather than offensive air warfare. At number 3 is the Swingfire Anti-Tank Guided Missile. The Swingfire is a British wired guided anti-tank missile developed during the Cold War. It was notable for its ability to change direction mid-flight, allowing operators to fire from cover. Nigeria previously used the Swingfire system for armored warfare training and defensive roles, but it is now obsolete, having been replaced by a more modern and portable anti-tank weapon. Coming up next is the Blowpipe Air Defense System. The Blowpipe is an early British manned portable air defense system that relies on manual command guidance, making it difficult to operate effectively. Nigeria once fielded it for low altitude air defense, but due to its low accuracy and outdated technology, it has been retired and replaced by a more modern air defense solution. On the list is the Strela 2 man pads. The Strela 2 man pad is a Soviet era infrared guided shoulder fired missile. It was designed to engage low-flying aircraft and helicopters within a short range. Nigeria previously used it for basic point air defense, but is now considered obsolete due to poor resistance to flare and countermeasures. Coming up next on the list is the Roland Air Defense System. The Roland is a Franco-German short-range surface-to-air missile system mounted on vehicles or static platforms. It was capable of intercepting aircraft at low-medium altitudes. Nigeria used the Roland system to provide strategic air defense system for key installations, but the system has since become obsolete and withdrawn from active service. Coming up next is the Automat Anti-Ship Missile. The Automat Anti-Ship Missile is a long-range Italian anti-ship missile with a range exceeding 180 km and a large high-speed explosive warhead. Nigeria previously deployed it with the Navy to defend territorial waters and offshore oil infrastructure. It has since been decommissioned largely due to maintenance complexity and shift in naval doctrine. Next is the Aspide surface-to-air missile. The Aspide is an Italian medium-range surface-to-air missile derived from the M7 Sparrow. Nigeria used it for air defense, particularly around sensitive military locations. The system has been decommissioned as Nigeria transitioned away from older radar aim sam system. On this same list is the AT-6 Spiral. This is a Russian supersonic anti-tank guided missile it has a range of up to 5 km and is capable of destroying heavy armored vehicles. Nigeria employs this missile on the MI-24 and MI-35 attack helicopters, using it effectively in anti-armor and close air support missions against insurgent targets. Next on this list is the SeaCat surface-to-air missile. The SeaCat was an early British naval surface-to-air missile designed for ship self-defense. Nigeria used it on older naval vessels to counter low-flying aircraft and anti-ship threats. Due to limited effectiveness and outdated guidance, it has been fully decommissioned. Next is the Exocet Anti-Ship Missile. The Exocet is one of the world's most famous anti-ship missiles, known for its sea skimming flight profile and high lethality. Nigeria previously operated the Exocet to enhance naval strike capabilities and maritime deterrence in the Gulf of Guinea. The system has since been retired, likely due to cost, age, and evolving naval priorities. On the list is the Red Arrow 12E anti-tank missile. 
The Red Arrow 12 e missile is a modern Chinese fired and forget man portable anti tank guided missile comparable to the US Javelin. It uses imaging infrared guidance and can penetrate advanced armor. It is basically used to boost Nigeria's army infantry anti armor and bunker busting capabilities, especially in asymmetric warfare. On the list is the MBDA Simbad ROC or the Mistral missiles. The Simbad ROC is a remote control naval air defense system firing Mistral infrared guided missiles. It is designed to protect ships against aircraft, helicopters, and drones at short ranges. Nigeria uses this system on modern naval vessels to enhance fleet self defense particularly in protecting offshore assets and patrol ships in the Gulf of Guinea. The AGM-65 Maverick The AGM-65 Maverick is a highly proven air-to-ground missile designed to destroy armored vehicles, bunkers, ships, and hardened infrastructure. It uses infrared, electro-optical, or laser guidance allowing pilots to strike targets from safe standoff distance. The Maverick gives Nigerian Air Force a true heavy precision strike capability allowing aircraft to destroy high-value targets in a single hit, significantly boosting battlefield dominance and deterrence. Next on this list is the Omtas anti-tank missile. The Omtas is a modern Turkish long-range anti-tank guided missile capable of defeating main battle tanks and fortified positions. It uses laser guidance and can be launched from helicopters. When deployed on attack helicopters like the T-129 attack, this rocket gives Nigeria a modern anti-armor edge, allowing precise destruction of armor threats and insurgent strongholds from long range. On this list is the Advanced Precision Kill Weapon System. The APKWS-2 converts standard 70mm rocket into laser-guided precision weapon. It is cheaper than full missile but extremely accurate, capable of hitting vehicles, buildings, and small targets with minimal collateral damage. This system massively increases Nigeria's precision strike volume at low cost, making it ideal for counterinsurgency, anti-banditry and drone defense, while reducing civilian casualties. Nigeria also operates the series laser-guided missile. The TL-2 is a modern Chinese air-to-surface precision missile optimized for engaging vehicles, bunkers and small fortified targets. It is lightweight and highly accurate. The TL-2 enhances Nigeria's precision drone and aircraft strike capabilities, allowing repeated accurate engagement against insurgent targets with minimal risks to civilians. The Nigerian military also operates the AG-300M laser-guided missiles. The AG-300M is a precision air-to-ground missile designed to destroy ground targets with high accuracy using laser guidance. This missile has expanded the Air Force guided weapons inventory, increasing strike flexibility and enabling Nigeria to conduct day and night precision operations across multiple aircraft platforms. Nigeria also operates the Hydra 70 rocket. The Hydra 70 rocket are unguided 70mm rocket widely used for close air support. When combined with APKWS guidance kits, they become precision guided weapons. The Hydra 70 gives Nigeria mass firepower, while APKWS conversion allows the firepower to be accurate and cost effective, ideal for sustained operations against insurgents and bandits. Finally, on the list is the GBU 12 GBU 58 PV laser guided bombs. These are laser guided bombs kits that turn standard bombs into precision weapons capable of destroying large structures camps, bridges, and hardened targets with extreme accuracy. These bombs provide the Nigerian Air Force with strategic level precision strike capabilities, allowing it to neutralize major enemy strongholds in a single strike while limiting collateral damage.